50 Crips jumped me right here. That's all I remember is falling on the ground, thinking to myself, the principal gonna help me. And I looked to my side while I'm on the ground. The principal's on the ground, they were stomping him too. And so, uh, this is my high school. When you get into the gang culture, it's an identity that you take on. I was a former gang leader of the blood gangs here in Dallas. So when I'm looking at young people, I'm looking at myself. Most kids don't wake up and say, I want to be in a gang or I want to go to prison. That's not how it happened. Because you got to understand, most neighborhoods and urban communities, the name of the game is survival. I didn't want to be in no gang, but I also wanted to survive. Eventually, I was sentenced to prison. And then in prison, this guy pulled me to the side and said, little brother, you're a leader. And that was something I had never heard. He said, if you can lead these dudes to do wrong, you had the power to lead them to do right. 20 years ago, when Anton came out of prison, we partnered up and we created a truce between the Crips and the Bloods. And so that truce has become the foundation piece for what we do in communities through urban specialists. So here right now, we have leaders from East Dallas 415, the Blood set, and we have guys from Dixon Trey 57, the Crip set, to say how can we work together to impact our young people. See, what we didn't know at the time, man, I don't know if y'all know now, but a lot of that gang banging and stuff like that, man, it's, it's peer pressure. It's just a different form of peer pressure, bro. Yeah. Growing up, me and Def D, for real, shot at each other. I'm just thankful that we weren't good shooters. <laughs> Def D is a great dude who have decided to use his influence for good. A lot of us did a lot of things in our days from running these streets around here. And that's, that's what gives us an advantage over anybody else that tries to do this job. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get him get him get him get him Creating peace between war and gangs is something that we can teach. I was like the experiment. So we said, how do we impact more? And so that's how OGU happened. OGU is Original Gangsters United. OGU is a 21-day catalytic program. We're taking the original gangsters out of neighborhoods who've committed violence in the past, showing them how to go back into their communities to avert violence by mentoring teenagers. And then we help them develop a plan for their communities. What was it like growing up in your neighborhood as a child? No one knows how to keep a kid out of a gang better than someone who ran a gang themselves. We empower individuals who have walked through that dark space and then say, can you go back and lead others out? This is it. This is the house that I grew up in. This is the block. And by the time I was about 15, this was a full-fledged gangbang street. Junior high school was critical, man. That's where I went from being a kid in the seventh grade so by the time I got to the eighth grade, I wanted to be a gangster. Went into high school, played sports. I was absolutely great. I actually had some scholarships on the table from some major universities. But I wanted to rep the hood. I started transforming, you know, from this tall, nice, gullible kid to a thug. When one of the homes put that pistol in my hand, then I realized the power of that pistol. You know, I became addicted to robbing. I wind up going to prison in my senior year in high school and got sentenced to 250 years. It took me 10 years in prison to get my head right. The one individual who has been most effective in transforming other individuals is those who have been affected by the issue. Y'all, I'm Big Mill. My mom used to always tell me, if you won't listen to me, they got a place where you're gonna listen. And I had to find out the hard way. You can do anything y'all want to do, anything. And this is what this whole program is about, is to equip you with a little knowledge to be able to stand for something that's right. Thank y'all. Y'all give them a hand. I wear my story on my sleeve, man. I want to be able to change somebody's life, man. And so uh, as many kids as we have, as many OGs we need. The thing we got going with OGU, it makes you feel as if all is not lost, that maybe there is a just cause, and maybe there is a winning cause. Just go ahead and give a clap for all of our OGU graduates to start with. At the end of OGU, we will graduate these OGs, and then we would give them access to greater networks and opportunities so that they become change agents. OGU gave me a platform to be able to come in and get educated about some things and get out and invade the neighborhood. 
we can change this violent culture that we have in our urban communities and not just tell them, be a part of it. And show them. You got your eyes on in school? Imagine if there were 50,000 OGs around the country doing this to transform communities all over this nation. At the end of the day, one person transformation can have a ripple effect on others. That's the fundamental belief of OGU. OGU, baby. Uh. OGU. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video about Anton Lucky and OGU. If you enjoyed the story, please share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to Freethink for more great videos each week.